pieces won't budge. should loosen things up. is shockproof.
Oh, Nancy! Hey! I think the kidnapper just moved Maya to a new hiding place. Have you seen anything suspicious around here? Wow, are you sure? I didn't see anything. I found evidence that will prove that Maya's being held in this building. Wow! Evidence? Where? I'll talk to you later. I've got to get a hold of Sergeant Ramsey. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold. Missing persons, this is Ramsey. Sergeant Ramsey, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Miss Drew. I found Maya. You found her? So the case is closed. I found her, and then she disappeared again. Good grief. This girl's a regular Houdini. All right. What have you got for me? I found a secret room under the stage. I saw Maya through a peephole, but by the time I got into the room, she was gone. The kidnapper must have moved her. A peephole, huh? Are you sure you saw her? Sir, there's evidence. Pizza boxes and one of Maya's shoes. I left everything where it was so you could see for yourself. So you think the kidnapper's been using this secret room as a base camp? Well, this is very interesting, Miss Drew. It sounds like you've been conducting quite a search. Now will you please send someone over to investigate? Yep. Just bear with me while I try to find an available car. Help is on the way, Miss Drew. Great. Bye. Hi, Nancy. What happened? I found Maya. You found her? Oh, that's great. Where is she now? By the time I got through that door, the room was empty. Are you sure you didn't just imagine you saw her? I'm sure. She was there, and now she's gone. Don't tell me you think I'm crazy, too. But what do you mean, gone? She left? Well, she didn't just get up and walk away. Her legs were tied. The kidnapper must have moved her. I found a couple of pizza boxes down there, so at least I know she's not starving. Evidence. That should interest the police. Have you called them? Yeah, they said they'll come check it out, but they may not be able to get here for a while. I'll wait up for the police. You get some rest, Nancy. You're going to need it for tomorrow. Thanks, Joseph. I am exhausted. on the call? Apparently, the call came from north of here, a town called Granite City. Personally, I think it's a hoax, but now the police are convinced that Maya's not in this building. But what about the evidence I found? Are you sure the pizza boxes were in that magician's room? Because the police couldn't find anything. That's impossible. Are you sure they looked in the magician's room? They searched the whole building. How could they miss two big pizza boxes with leftover pizza inside? 
what about Maya's shoe? No trace of that either. Even without the evidence, that corner of the room had obviously been lived in recently. Follow your gut, Nancy. If you think Maya's still here, you keep looking for her, you hear? I got another threat from the kidnapper. That creepy voice came on the PA and told me to stop searching for Maya. The projection room? But who? Someone must have ducked out of the press conference. I was so busy with crowd control, I didn't even notice. Joseph, I did some checking. You don't really have any family in Greasewood, do you? Now what you want to go digging into an old man's life for, Nancy? Everyone's a suspect, Joseph. You know that. If you have nowhere to go after the theater comes down, then maybe you're the kidnapper desperado. It's not so far-fetched, is it? Now, now. I am going to Greasewood, and I'm not desperate. I made up the part about my brother so you wouldn't feel sorry for me. You've got enough to worry about, don't you? It's only a matter of hours until the demolition. How are you holding up, Joseph? Oh, fine. Everything's great. Fine. Fine. I was up till the wee hours polishing up the lobby. Heck, I, I'm even fixing to repair the old key maker so you can give it a whirl. Guess old habits die hard, eh? Gotta go now. Chin up! How's progress? I know you sent the funeral wreath. Now where's Maya? I don't know what you're talking about, sugar. Listen, the pressure must really be getting to you. I know a top-notch aromatherapist in town, okay? I'll give you her number. I'm not stressed out. I'm livid. I went through your stuff and I know what you did. You broke into my personal property? I could have you arrested for that. It's just business, Simone. You do what agents do, I do what detectives do. I'm sure you can appreciate that. All right, I sent the stupid wreath, but I'm no kidnapper. I needed something for the cameras, didn't I? And it was a very tasteful arrangement. Should have been for 300 bucks. Perhaps I went a little overboard. A little overboard? <laughs> You're dreaming if you think that's enough to get you off my suspect list. How's progress? Have you heard about this ransom demand? Fifty grand, what a joke. Isn't it just like a rank amateur to jump on the bandwagon? Anyone with a pinch of class would have demanded at least a million. Brady seems uncomfortable with some of your, uh, tactics. Oh, he's just whining because I made him chop off his ponytail. I don't know what's gotten into him with this free will thing. I told him... You can't even dress yourself, kid, but if you want your blockbuster career to crash and burn, go ahead, manage yourself. I think your phone's about to ring. Bye now. What are you doing hanging out with that Falcone jerk? I'm not hanging out with him, Brady. I'm conducting a search here, and I'll take any tip I can get. That guy's bad news, and he's certainly not going to help your credibility with the police. Thanks, Brady, but I've got everything under control. Just trying to help. Do you mind if I take a look around in here? Be my guest. Talk to you later, Brady. Cool beans. Any news? Talk to you later, Brady. Don't be a stranger.
Did you call? What's the story? Sure did. Go on, spill it. She didn't know much, but she gave me the number of this guy at the Library of Congress who has access to the archives of Houdini's letters. And what did they say? Sherman Trout is on our side. Keep your eyes peeled for a special delivery. Way to go, Nancy. You're on fire. Catch you later. Fight the power. Hola. Catch you later. Fight the power. Maya's notebook? Hey, you. Don't hey you me, Brady, you rotten fraud. Huh? I'm afraid you've lost me. You've been lying to me, playing Mr. Helpful and Concerned all this time. I found her notebook in your bag. I haven't done anything wrong. I wonder if the police will agree with that. Okay, Nancy, here's the deal. My real name is Brady Thompson. Simone pushed for Armstrong more... Wholesomely smoldering, she said. Yeah, so? I'm Wave of the Future, Inc. The owner of this theater, great nephew of J.J. himself. So why don't you stop the demolition? The place is shabby. It needs major repairs. It's a money pit and a has-been. Not the image I want to project. Is everything about image with you? Never underestimate the power of image, Nancy. You are what you project. And what is it that you wish to project? When people think of Brady Armstrong, they think sparkling white teeth and healthy glow. Success glows. It doesn't crumble and sag. The hero never rides a has-been horse. But what are you going to do with the site? When I saw these ritzy theme restaurants popping up all over the country, it hit me like pow. My first original idea. Brady Armstrong's Planet Tinseltown. Can't you see it on the marquee? Grand opening. The lights will say it all. What does this have to do with Maya? I've sworn to be the captain of my own destiny. Maya was going to expose me, muck up my name in this controversy. It would have been a dark cloud over the launch of Tinseltown. And for that, she deserves to be kidnapped? I didn't kidnap her. I found her notepad in the basement with the press pass. I just thought I'd hang on to it for a few days until the dust settles. How could you withhold anything that might help me find her? How could you? Sorry, Nancy. Look, you're not thinking clearly. It's obvious she's not in the building. We've searched everywhere. She has to be in the building. I know she's here. You're the only one who thinks she's here. There's no evidence. Joseph believes me. He's a confused old codger. Nicholas thinks she's in the building. He's an outlaw, and he's using you. There was evidence. I found a pizza box and one of her shoes. Evidence that no one was able to verify. Who's to say you didn't imagine that stuff? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to rally a wrecking crew. You can't do this!